These are scenes local residents are hoping to never see again. Last June's flooding cost the province millions of dollars and some of its citizens their homes and livelihoods. Good sample, small plug. This is Scott Campbell. 124. He is a water monitoring technologist with Alberta Environment and he's been performing snow surveys in the Cypress Hills for the last eight years. Like a year ago I was here in January and we were getting densities in the 40% range. Scott has seen all types of conditions in the hills over the years, but the last two winters have been surprisingly white with 2011 already seeing 160% above average snowfall. Yeah, there's a lot of snow here um, for this time of year and uh, in comparison to years past. The good news is lots of snow on the ground in January doesn't automatically equate to floodwaters come springtime. We uh, get a Chinook, a strong Chinook that sits around here for a couple weeks and get into some double digit numbers. You'll see some of this uh, snow evaporate and run off. As much as some southeastern Albertans would love to do without all that wind, it turns out we should almost be grateful for it. It will blow off a lot of the snow and then it'll just drift into, into your little gullies and valleys and a lot of it will sublimate, so that will alleviate some of that flood risk there again. There are still a few weeks and weather systems to come before anyone can truly predict 2011's flood risks, but the accumulations in the hills does present an early red flag. We get some high temperatures or we get lots of rain and the ground's already saturated from this melt. Um, we could run into a few problems again. Liam Nixon, Chat News.